The reason I've broken up this process is to show you that it's a dance. And so you can go back and work over it, and come backwards and forwards, and, and keep establishing and building it up. Uh, it's flat relative to my eye because the Earth's curved, yeah? So that means I'll be looking at the sky there, reflected on the surface of the water, okay? But if I'm looking at the sky, oh, even here for example, it bounces up there, that means at this point here I'll be looking at this part of the sky reflected on the water. Does that make sense? Face the wave like that. And pull some backwards and forwards and up and down and yep. Yeah, like that. <laughs> the next one was yeah. okay, see this part okay. you still want to use the, the solid part of your brush because okay. you're moving paint around. Okay. Okay? When you start doing the cross hatch, yeah. is you only start using the tip. So this part, use the brush mm -hmm. like it's a, a hammer or a shovel. That's a bit of texture yeah. in this bottom area. Now I also know that I'm going to be putting a couple of layers of paint. Over this in a little while. So I reckon it just needs a little bit more white. I'm assuming that you said crustacean and not. No, I meant I would put a giant crab over a big blob. Okay, so I'm not crawling out from underneath gonna... the rock. That's a great idea. I've got a crab. But at this stage, I'm just going to use my phthalo, uh, sorry, my ultramarine and white because it's a good default arrangement to get away with. And so, just because I can, this one here is going to be the one that I start with first. Okay. Now, I'm just going to do this very quickly, and I'm sorry for those of you who can't quite see, but I will get out of the way every now and then. <laughs> okay, can everyone see that wave starting to take shape there? And can everyone see that that's given that a little bit of dimension? Yeah, because what I've done is I've literally put the surface on top of the substrate. Fantastic work, Scott. Oh, I recommend I can't wait to do Mark's Fiji workshop. Great group of people. And we've covered so many learning curves. It really doesn't matter. Look at my painting, everyone. I am so happy. Hi, um, I just wanted to say I really enjoyed the workshop. Thank you very much, Mark, and thanks, Frankie. You're a great help, too. I just learned a lot of basic things, and it was just a reminder about getting back to basics in some ways. And about, um, I gained a lot about the colour, you know, keeping, because I often get my colours mixed up, so, and then I can't remember what colour I use, so having it on your palette and being able to read with it. Hi, John Thomas. Uh, I've had the time of my life for two days. I've, uh, I've, what I produced was fair, but uh, I know exactly what I'm going to do with all the skills that I've learned. I've picked up the techniques that I'm thrilled about and can't wait to get back to the brushes.